India's digital payment system pioneers Paytm Karo Pay Through Mobile. Paytm stands for Pay Through Mobile. How did Paytm pick so quickly and what happened to its journey? Why did this decline so quickly as well? The man behind this is Vijay Shekhar Sharma, India's uh, young billionaire, once extremely modest, beginning from a government school, did not speak English till the age of 15 because he couldn't speak. Studied at Delhi Technical University. Instead of taking a 9 to 5 job after college, he chose to become a businessman and he launched his businesses. He established the parent firm of Paytm. 197 communications in 2000 by taking out a loan of approximately $9,000. Initially, 197 communications provided the digital products and services. He used a $2 million investment, $2 million investment to develop Paytm in 2010. He insisted every Indian use mobile phone to make payments. In 2013, uh, Paytm began as a platform for a prepaid mobile and DTH recharges direct to home. Later, it added debit cards and postpaid mobile phones, mobile payments as well. The major breakthrough was in 2014 when Paytm unveiled the Bharat system, which became popular right away. In order to make payments, Indian Railway and Uber added the Paytm. Electricity bills are payable, water bills, metro cards, uh, utility bills too. You can use these to pay those. In 2014, 2 million users. In 2015, it is 100 million users. Wow, within one year. In 2016, the demonetization made every people to go towards the digital payment system. It was a bonus for Paytm. Everything went in the right way way for Paytm. By 2017, it was the mammoth giant, the first app with over 100 million downloads in India. Merchants signed up for uh, transactions to charge their customers. Uh, auto drivers, repairing shops, small and big businesses were coming on board. In 2021, Paytm had over 150 million active users. Every month, they processed about 1.2 billion transactions. Uh, they continued adding up services, cinema tickets, uh, airline seats, gold insurance, and you name it, many more. Paytm went public in 2021, the largest initial public offering in India then. They raised over $2.3 billion at a $20 billion corporate valuation. IPO was offered at 2,150 Indian rupees. Paytm was listed uh, in Mumbai Stock Exchange in November 2021. On the first day of trading, the price started at 1,950 rupees, which is 9% less than the IPO's initial price. It was 1,560 rupees at the closing bell. In a single day of trading, the fortune of 40,000 crore of investors were destroyed. So what's wrong here? The baby of Paytm, the Paytm payment bank, a Paytm affiliate was the main source of the crux. It was found in 2017 and obtained the banking license in the same year. The bank received a regulatory strike within months for repeatedly failing to comply with KYZ, Know Your Customer Regulations, which require clients to have their identities verified before you open the account. Thus, the RBI, Reserve Bank of India, clamped down in June 2018 and banned accepting new accounts. Later in the same year, the ban was lifted because Paytm compliance was back in truck in a way. In 2024, RBI had enough with the bank because the violations were so severe they could no longer be tolerated. There were several accounts with no KYZ rules. Multiple accounts were linked to one single KYZ. The RBI worried about money laundering, corruptions, and the fraud. Uh, transactions in several of those accounts exceeded the regulatory restriction reaching above crores. Now it is the action time. RBI, the regulators, issued a directive that banned the bank to engage in any banking activities from February 29, year 2024. 40 million Paytm merchants, they switched to some other alternative platforms. Lending partners expressed strongly to stay away from Paytm. It is a sad story about a demise of this giant. Paytm expanded ahead of the curve. They provided new opportunities for everyone, but one mistake 
Paytm took the regulation for granted regulations strike.